Hello, in this video, we will discuss about voice image clipbook functions. So let's go ahead and uh, see how voice image clipbook functions help users in their projects. I have one examples where I can see different symbols had used on this uh, drawing. So there are different uh, symbols had used in this drawing including uh, the direction arrow and uh, there are different types of symbols. This is obviously one of the complicated man maintenance drawing. So these are different symbols had used on this drawing. So let's go and uh, try to use the clipbook functions to organize the use of symbols. In voice image, if you are making certain block or you have some raster symbols already used in the drawing, you can use those symbols as block. And the best part of using clipbook is that the cat symbols or the raster symbols you are using in your projects that can be stored in a separate file and you can share the file with your co-workers so basically that will be a separate file holding all the blocks all the symbols you are being used in your project and that will be saved as a single file it's a different file and that can be opened from the clipbook functions this this function these options you you can see that uh, you have different type of uh, support that you can call dwg blocks you can call cws uh, symbols or blocks and uh, you have the clipbook file as well that's i was talking about you can call you can save dot clb files to store all the symbols or blocks you are using in your projects so let's try to save few of the symbols for example this one so i should go to rasta selection so plot fail i'll select the symbols in the raster and I will hold the mouse and push back to the clipbook. So once I push back in the clipbook, so one item will be created. So if you double click on the item and it will allow you to change the name. So I can say SYM01. So that's my symbol one. And uh, similarly, you can select and push back any of the symbols from the drawing so i would like to use the direction arrow as symbols and again i need to push back to the clipbook and i will say i'll make it symbol 02 now uh, I would like to create some vector symbols say I'll copy the line I can use snap so I have the vector snap so I will use the vector snap and just a simple example of uh, of a block so these are these are only lines basically these are uh, this is not a block so this, these are only lines so I'll select all the vector entity and try to push back the item so I don't even need to create the block I'll say symbol 3 
So as you can see, I have one symbol uh, in raster. The symbol two is in raster as well. And I have one more symbol in vector. So now I can say I need to save the library. So in this case, I'll go to my drive and I say uh, symbol library. So I'll save it. Now, if, if I close the clipbook and uh, I have nothing basically in the drawing. So as I did save the CLB file, from the next time onwards, I can go to clipbook and I can go to open and I need to find my library. So this is my library. So I can open the library and all the symbols will appear in the library. So basically now uh, I, I need to use my mouse to select one of the symbols and drag into the drawing. So I can use uh, the symbols, right? This will remain as single lines. So if I make a block in voice image and push back to the library clipbook, so it will be appear, it will appear as block. And the same uh, for the raster entities, I can drag the raster entities too in the drawing. So basically, this is the beauty of using the clipbook functions in voice match. So once you use all the blocks, you need to select and uh, you can go to, you can use uh, symbols uh, on any drawing using uh, vector entities or raster entities. We can use it without any uh, without creating those symbols each and every time you work on a project. So uh, now let's go back to one of my DWG files where I saved different blocks. So I'll try to open the block. So it's a huge library basically of um, of different objects. So this is the library I had created in the CAD system, CAD applications. And now I would like to use all of these symbols in my hybrid drawing. So I can select either one of this and drag to the drawing and I can use the objects. So in this case, this is a block now. So as you can see, if you create block, it will appear as block. So any of the symbols I can use now, I, I, I need to select and I can drag and I can use it in the drawing. So this is, these are all block now. So this is how clipbook work in Wisemage. I hope this will help uh, immensely in your projects without creating different block or taking raster entity, raster symbol, uh, considering as a block, you can use it and uh, you can save time uh, in Wisemage.